this is good evening, morning, afternoon, freaks and geeks. This is Reluge, and uh, today we're starting something new. Uh, I wasn't able to do this for the past two seasons of The Mass Singer, but this time I'm able to sit down, do my recording, do a little bit of editing, and get it out mm, almost with like with the uh, episodes. So, and I know this has been done a lot, but this is fun. So, without further ado, let's adjust the uh, elephant in the room. Ah, uh, freaking little Wayne being the robot. That was just amazing. Amazing that he was voted off first. I mean, I thought the llama was going to go, but I guess people liked his comedy routine more than the whole lane scene? I don't know. So, it was just... Man, that was a little sad. So. On to the white tiger. Huh. <sighs> you mentioned that he had a bunch of fans. He doesn't want to, uh disappoint them and he's had a lot of accomplishments and the fact that he said uh, stepping back into the ring does make you think wrestler or boxer and that's just the type of person that would accumulate a huge fan base might be John Cena uh, but there was one clue that stood out that was four score and seven years ago. 87. So he could be 87 years old. He could have been born in 87. Like 1987. Or is it 1887? But. Until I get more clues. I'm not sure who the white tiger is. I'm not into that kind of sports. But. I can still look it up. Uh, next is the turtle. Now, he mentioned that he watched a bunch of bright stars burn too early. So, he could have been in a group. I noticed there was four people and three ran off, leaving him behind. Uh, so, could be a boy band. Could be New Kids on the Block or 98 Degrees. He was burned, uh, cooking burgers. Don't really know what that meant. But, uh, there was a, uh, phrase that caught my attention that he said. Turtle, because I've always taken it step by step. That's, uh, step by step. It was a old sitcom that had some, uh, young boys acting in it. I don't know if they could sing. But I'm going to keep those on my radar. Or them. The Llama. Don't know much about the him. Uh, all I can think of a radio host uh, comedian that uh, was in Seattle. So that's all I can think of. Uh, I forgot who they mentioned. But I'm, I'm not sure if he's... I, I know there is, like, this radio host that was known for, uh, uh, comedy. I can't think of it. So, I'm just gonna move on. Seriously, it already? Yeah, there was six and one, two, three, four, five. Okay. So, Miss Monster. This is the interesting one. Uh, I know it's like, in the past, it's like people would say phrases from like song titles and whatnot, and those turned out not to be a clue. But... I jotted down all the references I uh, could hear, uh, like 
there was misunderstood, you make me feel like a woman, or you make me feel like a natural woman. Uh, she uh, still loved me. Uh, she also said something about Elvis Performer in Pink. And now this Performer in Pink. Uh, but I came up with uh, Sophie Turner, uh, Taylor Perks, Nadine Ellis, and Queen Latifah. Um, now, she did mention something about a queen, but that's not what I'm going off of. She was actually in the movie Hairspray. And in the clue package, it zoomed in, it like focused on her spraying her hair. So, and I thought that Elvis Performer in Pink might have been a uh, um, nod to like Pretty in Pink. But there was an Elvis impersonator apparently that rode around in a pink uh, convertible, I think it was. But he wasn't female, so. Uh, but misunderstood. When I put that into the search engine, main thing that popped up was Pink's first album, Misunderstood, which was published by Missy Elliott, of all people. And she came up a couple times, Pink came up a couple times, so it might be Missy Elliott. I'm leaning more towards Queen Latifah. But it's possibly, uh, uh, Missy Elliott. Now, Kangaroo. She's a survivor. She was in the bad spotlight, uh, within the last year. Uh, she, that definitely was a Grammy that was shown. Uh, and there was, like, a lot of bullies. But all that is just kind of vague. I mean, a lot of people had problems, but I listened really closely to the voice. I think I know this voice. I think it's pink. I don't know if that's influenced with my previous search for Miss Monster, but it sounds like pink. I don't know. Gotta listen to some more of those clues. So, uh, with the mic actually on this time... What do you guys think about my clues? Um, this episode is being recorded a little late and being uploaded a little later than late, but I promise to you I will get these episodes up hopefully weekly. So, let me know what you think. Um, no spoilers, but by the time you see this, I uh, might be done with episode 3 or even 4. Um, click on whichever thumb you think is appropriate for this video. Uh, click on some of the... Or, feel free to click on whichever annotation at the end of this that you think you would enjoy. I think for this I might put up my uh, blog of Ice and Fire. Because I talked about that a little bit. Uh, there's still going to be stuff about uh, Ice, uh, Song of Ice and Fire that we we'll talk about later in the future. But until then, stay white and nerdy.